Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our Crochet Podcast, episode 31. Oh, excuse me, out of breath. So many things going on. Not so much crochet-related things, but super busy, literally running around the house. Starting with crochet bits, and I should introduce myself. My name's Krista. I'm Canadian, married live in Nairobi, Kenya, Africa, other side of the world for most of you. Same side of the world for some of you. I have four kids, five dogs, three birds, five chickens, three tortoises. I think that's about it. Oh, three guinea pigs, two guinea pigs. Sorry, forgot the mum passed away. So if you're just stopping by for the first time, welcome, grab your crochet, cup of coffee. This podcast starts out crochet related and then moves on to little bits of things going on in my life and some things I take you out and about in Nairobi, generally at the end of the video. So if those things are of interest to you, think about clicking the subscribe button below if you haven't already and the notification bell beside that. We do lives usually once a week on Fridays maybe this summer every other friday not really sure how that's going to work out although lives don't take up too much time so maybe every week i don't know no promises on that in the near future as i do have four kids uh, my youngest is four and my oldest is going to be 12 in two weeks so lots of things going on and i'm going to be spending summer with them so i won't be posting as often as I usually do. However, that being said, I'm buying a new camera. So what are you gonna do with a new camera if you're not making videos and tutorials and things like that on YouTube? I don't even know. But, as it fits into my life. So that is general gist of things. Starting out with, I don't even have my notes today. I'm like, that's how much, like I'm totally moving everything around in the house. So, Sorry about the no notes. Sorry about I'm not thanking anybody. I will do it. I have to still write. I, I'm behind. But crochet things first. Finished objects in the in the giveaway tutorial in tutorial in the giveaway video. I had this blanket on my sofa, sand dollar and surf, which I love. It's just 12, 12 inch squares approximately. So four feet by five feet plus a border. And I just did a flat braid join on that. And these are all with treble crochet, just regular craft acrylic, chunky acrylic, a size four thickness, a six millimeter hook. And whipped it up. It was actually, it was what, my first blanket I ever made. No, my first blanket I ever made that I like. I have a, not a fail, it's not a fail, but I have a blanket I made, my first blanket that I don't like. Um, and this already is a tutorial. I think it was the first tutorial I did. It's only in right-handed because I was literally just doing the tutorials for my, my students because I teach crochet. Uh, and I knew that my left-handed students weren't making it, but my right-handed students were. So I didn't put it in left-handed because I didn't think anyone else would watch. So sorry for all you lefties out there. It's only in right-handed. But uh, so it's sand, dollar, and surf. I have a playlist for it of the five videos. So I did this center, the sand dollar, is a tutorial. And then turning it into a square is a tutorial, this teal color. And then the white tutorial. And putting the border on. No, joining. We did join as you go. So this tan color was a tutorial. And then the last one, part five, is putting the border on the whole thing. So I really like it. And it's already a tutorial. So yay! Whew. It was one of my first tutorials I ever did. So if you're just stopping by, don't like rate me on my tutorial skills by that, those particular videos. I was like all nervous and everything and my voice was all jittery and Anyway, it's still a worthy tutorial. You can still follow along and you can still make a blanket. However, don't score me on it. So that is finished object. Love it. 
Whip. I know I'm late. I'm really late. I wanted to have this tutorial up last Friday, so I'm like five days late already. Uh, for the um, Granny Square lined bag. So I'm almost done. I have to grab another ball of this it's up there. So I was doing it at night in my bed, and I did not have enough red yarn. I have this much, which is not enough to go around. So I have to get another ball. So that's my excuse for not doing two more rows. Plus it was like four in the morning. Anyway, I'll get into that later. Watching Netflix. Okay, I'm getting into it now, sorry. Uh, on the last live we had on Friday, I asked what shows you're watching and then somebody said blah, 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 blah. And I remembered that, well they didn't say blah, 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 but you know, synopsis. Uh, Grey's Anatomy and I was like oh I've only watched up to season five and I googled it to where Izzy left or her last appearance on the show because I'm pretty sure like somewhere around there I stopped watching it started watching it again put me to sleep so many uh, you forget how many people in that show are like in love with each other you're like oh my gosh you guys are together oh my gosh you guys are together I'm like wow anyway I was watching that it knocked me out and I didn't go and get another ball of red so doing that, also working on the strip to go in between the two big squares and also to make the strap. So I have to do, it's 15 to go around the three sides. So one, two, three sides. So five squares here, five here, five here. And then the handle. I think the handle, I'm gonna do it a bit shorter so it just kinda like goes underneath your arm a bit. I don't want it like, you know, hitting on my hip. I'm wide enough. I don't need to put a bag on them also. So think of doing a shorter handle, maybe 10 of these squares for the, for the handle. So that much of a handle. Look at all those ends. I have, I can cut the center ones off. I can cut, I can cut half of them off, but I haven't done it yet. And the other ones I have to just poke through in the opposite direction once because I've already worked them in but just to be sure anyway working on that was tried to have it done for today so I didn't have to it publicly admit defeat but publicly admitting defeat I'm slow so that is getting a lining which I'm excited about like that I'm so looking forward to it I think this is taking time it's not taking time I guess this is more fiddly but I only have to do 12 more of these little squares, so there's really nothing holding me back but another ball of this yarn, which I have, so nothing's holding me back. That is my whip. Now, acquisitions. <laughs> I, well, other than I'm getting a camera. So I've decided that I'm getting a camera that focuses and has a battery that lasts. This camera I got because you can take uh, like photos and videos in almost in the dark or so I thought back in the day it is seven or eight years old now it's an old Nikon P510 which is fine I know some of you aren't tech heads sorry about this little rant I'm gonna go on but um, when I'm doing tutorials you can hear it like focusing at auto and it's like uh, 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 which annoys me and the battery only lasts for 20 minutes about it used to last longer but they're just getting worse and worse and the screen doesn't flip out so when I'm talking to you now I can't see if the camera's on or not I have to kind of lean to the side and see that the lens is still out because it it'll retract perfectly silently like you don't hear it turn off but then you'll be like blah 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 blah, blah and you don't have a camera uh, even when I'm filming tutorials it likes to the bat anyway I need a battery so, Googled it, blah, 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 getting a new Canon camera. Super excited about it. They had one, I found a store here in Nairobi that sells them, has them, and then the lady was like, oh, well, if you send us a deposit, we'll keep it for you. And I'm like, I haven't decided. Like, maybe I'm going to get the next step up. You know, there's a lot of different cameras out there. So, didn't put a deposit. Called today after I, you know, I'm like, just get that one, da, 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 go for it. Um, they don't have one in stock. Like, she wasn't joking. It's not in stock. They get one tomorrow or the next day, which means next week. It's still Africa. If they actually get one this week, I'll be, like, super surprised. I'll be excited, but super surprised. I also got 
today. It just came right now. This <laughs> lovely bag. So this is one of our online stores. You can see it. Jumia.co.ke, I think it is. They even, it's, I think they even get stuff from Amazon for you. It takes a couple weeks. Prices are all right. Anyway, I got a mount, a windshield mount for my phone in the car. So when I'm taking it around, I don't have to hold my phone. I can just like hook it on. So I thought I'd open it with you and see. Sorry if that's loud. Crazy, they can still have plastic bags, isn't it? Plastic bag ban and they have plastic bags. Another receipt. I like the bubble wrap. So this was more one of the more expensive ones. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, more tape. <laughs> I thought I was done. Let me slide it out. Okay. Oh, it's red. It came in yellow or red. I was hoping for yellow, but I got red. Oh well. I guess it goes with my YouTube theme, right? Never car holder with suction cup. Okay, let's see. How do we open this bad boy? For the windshields or center console. Like that. Like that. I don't know. Oh gosh, this packaging. Now my battery's gonna die. <laughs> okay, not too bad. Oopsies. 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 I don't know what that's for. Random. Oh, you put it on and then you pinch that and it sucks it down more. Oh, and it's got a little protective -y thing. Interesting. And then that, how does that get on there? Oh, we gotta loosen it. Ooh, that just fell straight off. Gosh, golly. Well, anyway, you don't need to see me fiddle around with this. I got a little car mounty thing for filming the, the little bits when I take you out and about. How does that work? I'm so confused right now. Okay, got it. What? Oh, there's a button. Oh, okay. Oh, will it fit sideways? I hope so. <gasps> what if it doesn't? Anyway, sorry. I will figure that out. How fun. Okay, so I did that. And I'm getting a f camera. I can't wait for it. I'm so excited. I really wanted it to come today but it didn't work out. So, busy bits, for those of you who watched, I should change the battery, let me change the battery. Oh, I, change, okay, I changed the battery. Whew, good for another 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, so those of you who watched my little live stream when I found the choir singing at the shopping mall that I go to, I was there to interview new health staff. So, because my house, my houseman of a bazillion years has retired, and my even my gardener is retiring. He is going and starting a business, planting. I want to say mung beans. I don't know. Anyway, they've all kind of gone off to do their own businesses now, which I think is great. But I need more. I need to replace them. So went to go. I collected numbers, so people put up little adverts, so like a letter of reference, and then at the bottom there'll be a whole bunch of phone numbers you can rip off for the person. So I had gone and collected probably 30 phone numbers for people with, with you know, qualifications for what I was looking for, which was pretty general, because I, you know, I need a gardener, I would like a chef, I would like a, you know, a housekeeper, I'd like a houseman, you know. I'm pretty open to whoever is a good fit. So I sent out a text message to all of these random people, inviting them to an interview, blah, 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 which is what I saw the choir. I was there to meet them. So about 30 people came, maybe 25, 
And out of the 25 was this chef lady who all of her, which I wasn't totally looking for, like that is a luxury. Like I'm not really looking for a chef, but it would be great to have one. But then, you know, you're not like, like, first of all, I don't want, like, I'm not ironing clothes. So like someone to iron clothes, like the basics, you know what I mean? Anyway, this lady comes and she has, her references are, she's been a head chef at like four different hotels, blah, 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 like excellent. And because tourism is down here, business is down, tourism is down, the hotels aren't, you know, they're putting people on, they only hire, or they hire extra staff for like high season. So like Easter, Christmas holidays, summer holidays, but not like for the whole year. So they just call people in like on temporary work. So a lot of people don't have work. And... I was like, oh, so my whole strategy this time was like, because, you know, in interview, some people are nervous. Some people are, like, some people, when they're nervous, are quiet. And some people, when they're nervous, like, talk too much. And you're like, oh, you talk too much, or oh, you're too quiet. So I was like, if I like you, if you're qualified and I like you, I'll give you, like, a trial day. You can come and work for one day. You see if you want the job, like, if you want to do the work, and I see if you fit, like, if I want you to do the work. So this lady was like, oh yeah, no, I'll totally come, blah, 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 when can I come? And I was like, I jokingly said today. I was like, oh yeah, come, you know, oh, you can come today. And she was like, yeah, hops in my car, comes home, cooks, like just from what we had, because I don't really, like I'm sure you've been on enough shopping trips with me looking for pizza crusts, like you know, it's not, okay. <laughs> like it's pretty simple cooking for four kids and my, and my husband. So um, anyway, she pulled out like a five course meal, like literally, like, salad, soup, like a whole, but like starters, spring rolls, so many, it was like really good. It was like, what? It was really good. It was on Friday last week because Kavitz was here while she was cooking. Anyway, um, it was delicious, like shockingly delicious. So had her come back on Sunday because we had enough leftovers for the Saturday and I'm like, oh, but then you think about it, you're like, that was really great. She came back on Sunday and cooked even more. It was like, I wouldn't say Christmas dinner, but like I, almost every single pot in my kitchen. And I have a lot. Like, you can imagine what my kitchen looks like if this is what my stash looks like. So ton, it was like literally cooking. Like the whole house smelled like food. It was so great, which makes you think, gee, I don't cook. Like, you know, you just make like one kind of thing or you make like, yeah, you like you cook for your family. Like, here's the meal. That's it. Not like bits and pieces. She, anyway, she made cream of mushroom soup to die for. So delicious. So delicious. Anyway, um, like I had it for lunch the next day. It was so good. Anyway, um, she's working here now. So I have a chef. She's making, but doesn't that sound crazy? I know, I'm so spoiled. She's gonna get a job at a hotel. Like she, I, don't, I only have her while she's unemployed. I'm sure she's gonna scoot and get a proper job that could advance her career more when the opportunity arises. However, for now, I am super enjoying it. This morning she even came in, my kids had, uh, she made hot chocolate and mandazis, which are, oh, we should have those on a Friday with Kavit. Uh, like Ken, I, I like, call them like Kenyan donuts. They're not donut shape. They're either triangles or squares, and they are like a dough that you fry, like a bread dough that you fry, and it puffs up so it's like an airbag that's crispy on, not super crispy, donut donut ish on the outside and super soft and tender on the inside. A little bit sweet, but not really sweet. Like they could go either way. Oh, I'm salivating. They were incredible. So kids love those. It was really, really great. And I am feeling super spoiled. However, now I have to, had to, need to, and pretty much did, move my kitchen around because she is actually cooking. Whereas I'm like using a toaster and a kettle and a pot. So I had to like move all this stuff away from the cooker. Even now, I thought I did a great job of it. But even today, I'm like, she's like busy, like deep frying and I'm trying to get at my coffee maker. And you're like, there has to be more than one corner in your kitchen. Like I don't have a tiny, tiny kitchen. I have a proper kitchen. I don't have too many sockets. So I have to like run electricity over to another corner and like blah, 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 blah. I have a lot of moving around to do so that she can have the entire side of the kitchen where the cooker is for all the cooking she's doing 
and I can just be have like peace and quiet for my cup of coffee in the morning. So super spoiled, like I feel super spoiled. So happy about that, super happy about that. Well, that battery died. What a dead battery. Anyway, not for long, right? So um, super spoiled, feeling super happy about that, but have a lot of work to do because I need to, you know, just move things around and get things organized for somebody else to use the kitchen instead of me which I don't mind but it you know you do have ideas of like oh I'll put this here I'll put that there so that is me clean up the pantry blah 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 anyway tons of work also move the office around I'm doing that today moving all of our desks around because we do have a lot of desks a lot of kids a lot of desks uh, doing that guest house needs to get re so and I'm kind of like spring cleaning I guess is what it is so that is what I'm up to I'm working on this at night and doing some good filming so at the end of this video I filmed it on Sunday I went around getting my coffee of course and yesterday I went with Kavita and her husband for those of you who don't know Kavita, she joins me on some of the lives on the Friday afternoon, evening, morning for you, perhaps. And um, she is also the Wicked Whisk Nairobi. She has a YouTube channel, new one, and um, a website. She's also on Instagram and Facebook and the rest of it. She does really, really delicious cakes and is really fun to hang out with. So she, they took me to the outdoor vegetable market. My mother-in-law goes all the time. I don't really go, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. I didn't think there was parking. So I'm like, I can't go because I don't have a driver and the rest of it. But no, there's totally parking behind. So very enjoyable. I took you for a little tour of that, but that's not this time around. That'll be another time, but I did that yesterday. It was really kind of cool. So that's all I have. Just wanted to have a little, say a little hello to everybody. And I'm thinking of you and thank you so much. Uh, sorry I didn't follow a proper format today. I will try to get back in the swing of that because that was actually working out really great and I look forward to it. Oh, oh, it's not here. But I made a whole book, literally a bound book for podcasts, the topic, what I talked about, blah, 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 blah. So when people are like, oh, what about this? What about that? I can flip back and be like, oh, no, it's in this podcast here. Still have to fill it out. But the thought is there. And if it's a thought that counts, I'm hoping it is. So now I am going to be off and go back to moving around the office and getting that sorted out. I have a pretty good plan for it, but I have to plug in everybody's computers and stuff before they get home and are like, Mom, what did you do? My computer doesn't work. So that'll be me. I'm doing that. And waiting for delicious dinner. Veg vegetarian lasagna today. I'm so excited. Anyway, spoiled. I hope you guys are having a great week. Oh, and the crochet out and about, if any, not out and about. We have a crochet out and about on Saturday. That's in Nairobi. But uh, we have a crochet vacay in February. There's a link in the description box below for anybody who wants to do some crochet tourism. We are having, we're hosting that in February. So I will talk about that another time also. I just want to do this super quick. So mwah, mwah. have a great week, everybody. Stay hooked. run for coffee yay and flatbread for pizza my staples coffee and pizza so it is Sunday morning Ooh. 9 19 so we're trying to miss the rush oh look that is white people on the road. Oh, how many, so many. Wow, this is like a tourist attraction. Because they just put the tarmac on top of dirt. They don't put gravel. They just make the dirt flat and then put asphalt or whatever, tarmac, feet, and, uh, and then the rains wash the dirt out from underneath the tarmac and the tarmac crumbles, or asphalt, I don't know which one it is.
And the other thing hard about driving, by the way, the shoulder, like, well, you know when you check your roads, I always go left, center, right. And I still go left, center, right. But I should go right, center, left. But I can't. I still can't do that. So I just take my time. Do it slower. This is the bypass or underneath the bypass. Ooh. Eat. So that road does go to Rosin Riviera, but you can also just get to it from the main road. So, not that we're going there. We're going two rivers. Oh, and I need water too. Three things I need to buy. Internet package, 100 bucks a month, and what is it, 50 MB? Upload, download, unlimited. And TV, actually, also. I should actually check into that. We have it in our house, but my bill's weird. My bill's 10 bucks more than it's supposed to be, and I don't know why. I think they're charging me for the telephone, and I don't want a telephone or have a telephone. But we'll see. Ay, 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 ay. Now here, this is the bumps forever. Ay. I don't know why they put a house with a fence that close and then this is supposed to be the gate it's never been the gate I don't know it doesn't make sense I don't know the plan Ooh. probably see what they did down there they built a pond and everything for drainage it's so cute and a little garden on that side so cute ruined the gardens they're calling everything ruined these days everything is like ruined to this ruined to that ruined is like a like I don't even know how many kilometers it is I should google that but it's like a t it's not even a town cuz they don't they have a couple restaurants inside apparently building a hotel i don't know they, they got planning approval and then they didn't get plan planning approval and then i don't know but i've heard it's been approved a hotel in my hood so we'll see car wash interesting Ooh. Oh, okay. Random a tattoo. This is what you gotta look out for. See this guy? Just cutting me off randomly. See? Right, center, left. Look at me go. And there's our two rivers. Two. I wish they had a movie theater. They don't have a movie theater. Don't know why, actually. Oh, my daughter did not put her seat back in a locked position. Fabulous. Oh, they made these bumps like you have to like climb up and over a house to get into this place. Let's see how I can have you for a security check. This place is pretty nutty, but I do my best. Oh, 
I'm gonna go for two guys. Windows down. Unlock. Jambo, how are you? Good, good, thank you. Yes, how to? Thank you. Thank you too. Thank you. Always checking the boot, and no, I didn't bring shopping bags. What is new? Welcome, welcome. Asante sana. Ticket. Gate. Huh. Alrighty, here we go. Window, lock, good. I'll take you my secret parking. again oh maybe it did it lock no I don't think so because she didn't put up the seat the backrest interesting oh. and these little rooftopy things are solar panels how cool is that so you get covered parking and the mall gets electricity. Da, 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 da. So there's three spark, par, sparking, <laughs> sparking pots, parking spots. Ooh, and there's our entrance right there. That one's going to be tricky because I got to put my phone through the scanner or whatever. So, all right. Good security. Let me do escalators. Two flights we must go down. Yikes. Food plus. Love my food plus. My Samsung store. My lighting shop. And there's a DIY place over there, but... Mm, have to go to industrial area which is like the train tracks and the big factories and stuff and then go to a hardware shop to get what you need so it's good that they have it's not they don't have everything but they have some stuff the firecom you can load impressa at that place you can load impressa at lots of places but that's like the real store Now these guys are making sure that you don't bring in shopping bags to put care for items into. So your shopping has to be sealed and they will seal it for you. Or tell you to go and check it at this bag check-in place. They do those. the rest of it. Camping stuff. 
very hard to find here. Mug for a dollar. Oh, my kids love this stuff. Purple, apparently. Okay, what did I need to be serious? See, I draw a blank. I see things on sale, I can't even remember. Um, bread, I know, for pizza. Coffee. Coffee, I have to go to the other store. They don't have my brand here. So I'm here for bread and water. Great. Oh, bubble up. That's a knockoff. Planet Mixed Berries American Cola. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, water aisle. Oh, you guys want to see the butcher? Let's do that first. That's fun. I got potatoes. That looks good. How are you? Thank you. Chicken legs with her. Yummy. Top veggies. Lots of veggies. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to keep my pace up here. Yes, I do get nervous, if you're wondering, totally. Okay, water. I'm gonna have to turn you off while I load these, they're heavy. Okay, got the water. Now we have to find bread. They have a really good bakery here. Be delicious. Now I just saw a local, what is this? Aquamist iced tea. Sugar free. I don't like sugar free. I like sugar. Okay. Uh oh. Now my car's on really. To them. Very cheesy buns. Yum. Two cheesecakes for four bucks. What? My flatbreads are gone. 
am I gonna do? warm. Five. Six. Seven. I'll leave one for somebody. to do an impressa, get some shopping bags to the first I forgot. So I'll see you in a minute. So the big one, this is loose, right? Yeah, loose tea, one pound, $2.85. Hmm. Ah, good, here we are. No, I don't want beans, grind, grind, here we are. Oh, how I love you. Okay, that's the one. I'll even get one for the giveaway. Oh, that's beans. There. That's all we needed. Delicious cookies for a new mom. Interesting. I've never seen those in my life. Alright, now I gotta go again. Oh, there she is. Oh, sorry. Okay, go, 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 go. Thank you, crazy lady. So I got all the shopping done. I got bread, I got coffee. I got a coffee for you, if you win. <laughs> I hope you do. And what else did we get? 
cheese for my four-year-old who's into cheesy buns. Buns for my four-year-old. Oh, look. There's sheep over there. See that? Sheep. Sheep, sheep, sheep. My son says he knows the people that live in that house there. Can you imagine having a, like a second biggest mall in Africa open up like across your back gate? That'd be such a downer. Anyway, what the heck? So now back home, relaxing day. It's a Sunday, so now I get to go and hang out with the fam with some easy meal prep. <sighs> Already done. Notice the lack of sidewalks. Isn't it just insane? The whole shopping mall is not, they have no sidewalks. Oh, here's a sidewalk over there. Wasn't well, that nice? And then where are they supposed to go into? Parking lot. I don't get it. Don't get it. Oh, there's my bread tipping over in the back seat. This is my kid's favorite part. Ready for it? They're not here, but I'll still do it for you. Whoa. They're like, do it again, Mom. Anyway, probably more fun in the car than in the phone, but anyway. So that was my big Sunday morning out. Glad you joined us, and we'll see you next time.